Okay, so let's do a little software video on how we can handle our permutations and combinations. So we're going to basically be using exclusively Excel uh, to crank these out. So consider that we're working in a floral boutique and we're trying to sell these micro bouquets. So there are seven flowers with three roses, two tulips, and two daisies. And so note for like for these permutations, because we order does matter, we're going to consider just laying out these flowers in a straight line that we're going to put in our bouquet. So how many possible orders can we lay out these seven flowers? Well, that is just simply a factorial. We could do n factorial. And in this case, we have seven total flowers. And we want to know how many orders they can be in. Nice thing is that Excel lets us just do equals factorial. And we can either click on it or you can just add the parentheses. And it tells us we want a number. So flower a number. There are seven. And we're going to hit enter and we get 5,040 possible orders where order does matter of those seven flowers. Okay, so note two, we said that, hey, there are three roses, two tulips, and two daisies. And we're going to say, okay, how many distinguishable orders, basically based on the types of flowers, can we put the seven flowers? Okay, so that one is a little different. If we want to talk about distinguishable outcomes, we're going to do n factorial or the total number of flowers in our case divided by we're going to do n like n1 factorial times n2 factorial all the way until we've used up all of our repeats so we have three different types of flowers here and we can see that we've got three roses two tulips and two daisies so if we want to know the, how many distinguishable orders that we can put these in based in their flower type, we would say factorial 7 divided by, okay, let's put a parenthesis, we've got to put all of this in the denominator, factorial roses multiplied by factorial of the tulips multiplied by the factorial of the daisies. And we can go ahead and hit enter there. And we have 210 possible distinguishable outcomes based on flower type. So, you know, putting them in, we, we put them in like rose, tulip, and daisy, and, you know, continue on for those for the total seven. But we want to know how many distinguishable outcomes do we have. And so we've got these repeats of roses and tulips and daisies, and it takes those into account. Okay, so now suppose we are trying to some new, these are called our chaos micro bouquets. So these are the ones that you do at the end of the day with your leftover flowers. So we've got 15 possible leftover flowers. I don't know what they are, uh, but we've got only seven flowers in a bouquet. We want to know how many of these, how many different combos could we get from these 15 leftover flowers and assume that all those leftover flowers are, are unique. So what we would do here is we could do this equation with n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. This is our permutations or where we have a total number of options. This time is 15 and we're going to select them seven at a time. All right, so if we did this this way, we could do the factorial of 15 because that's the total number of flowers possible um, to select from from our micro bouquets. And then we are going to divide by it uh, the factorial of 15 minus how many we're actually going to select at a time? Seven. We can hit enter and we get this huge number. There's a ton of different uh, orders that we can put this in. There's actually an easier way to do this. We can hit equals and permute, and it stands for permutations. And it just wants to know the number that we can choose from. So we've got 15 flowers we can choose from. How many are, did we actually choose? Number chosen, seven. And we can hit enter and hey, check that out. We've got that nice shortcut. So looking at that again, it's called permute n2 comma k2. We choose, we have a total of 15 that we can choose from and we will select seven. Okay, so when you're kind of bragging about how many different combinations that you can make, your friend reminds you that bouquets are bunched up and for most people, order really doesn't matter. So he suggests you look at the number of combinations possible for the chaos micro bouquets. How many combinations do we have? All right, so when we do combinations, what we are looking at, it's going to be this n factorial still, okay, 
divide by, we're going to do, let me give me two down here, n minus k factorial multiplied by k factorial. All right, so if we're not interested in order, we just let them know like how many you're going to select again and you divide that off again. So if we were to do this manually, we can do it again. We can use equals factorial. We can say 15 and we can divide by factorial of 15 minus seven and then multiply, oops, multiplied by factorial of seven again. Keep all of that part down here in the denominator and hit enter. And we say that we actually only have 6,000, you know, like six and a half thousand options. Once again, there's an easier way we can do this. We can just hit equals and combin for combination. And it just wants to know the number total. Yeah, 15 divided by the number chosen. And it will do all that heavy lifting for you. So once again, like the equations of use that we're going to use is the factorial, the permutations, or permute, sorry, and the combin. Those three will get you a long way. The only one that we don't really have a nice, quick and easy one are the distinguishable um, the distinguishable orders or the distinguishable permutations. That one you have to still go in and use the factorials in the equations. But that should give you some help on how to get through some of those answers of our combinations and permutations on the homework. Good luck.